Welcome to Krish Hacks, your trusted source for all things cybersecurity. I'm Krish, your guide through the intricate world of ethical hacking. Today we're embarking on an exciting journey, a step-by-step -step guide designed to demystify ethical hacking. Whether you're just starting out or looking to hone your skills, this guide is your key to unlocking a successful career in this ever-evolving field. So buckle up and stay tuned as we're about to unravel the roadmap to becoming a successful ethical hacker. Before we dive into the roadmap, it's essential to understand what ethical hacking means. Ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing or white hat hacking, is an authorized and systematic process of probing networks, systems or web applications to find vulnerabilities that a malicious hacker could exploit. The primary difference between an ethical hacker and a malicious hacker or black hat hacker is permission. Ethical hackers have explicit permission to explore and test the system's defenses, while black hat hackers do not. The importance of ethical hacking cannot be overstated. It's a crucial part of cybersecurity that helps organizations strengthen their defenses, ensuring the safety of their data and systems. Ethical hacking not only uncovers potential threats, but also enables organizations to fix them before they can be exploited by malicious hackers. Now that we have a clear understanding of ethical hacking, let's move on to the roadmap. First things first, acquiring the basic knowledge in computer science and programming is crucial. You may ask why? Well, think of it as building a house. You wouldn't start by designing the roof, would you? You'd start with a strong foundation. And in this case, that's a solid understanding of computer science and coding. It's the language of technology, the alphabet of the digital world. Without these fundamentals, moving ahead in the field of ethical hacking would be like trying to read a book without knowing the alphabet. Moreover, understanding programming languages is key. Languages like Python, JavaScript and SQL are the tools you'll use to craft your ethical hacking strategies. They're your brushes, your chisels, your paint. The means by which you'll create solutions to cybersecurity problems. So invest time in learning these fundamentals. They are the stepping stones to your journey in ethical hacking. Mastering the basics will pave the way for more specialized knowledge. With the basics under your belt, the next step is to familiarize yourself with cybersecurity fundamentals. Let's start with information assurance. It is the practice of managing risks related to the use, processing, storage, and transmission of information or data. In the realm of cybersecurity, information assurance is all about making sure that the data is protected and available only to those who have the authority to access it. It deals with three important principles. Confidentiality, integrity and availability, often referred to as the CIA triad. Next up is threat modeling. This is a process by which potential threats can be identified, categorized and analyzed. It's like creating a map of where potential attacks could come from and what they might target. Threat modeling is crucial for understanding your system's potential vulnerabilities and building effective defenses against them. Now, let's move on to risk management. This involves identifying, assessing and prioritizing risks followed by coordinated application of resources to minimize, monitor and control the probability or impact of unfortunate events. In cybersecurity, Risk management is a continuous process and it is vital to keep systems secure and up to date. Beyond these, there are many more concepts in cybersecurity like encryption, firewalls and intrusion detection systems. Each of these plays a significant role in securing systems and networks. Encryption is the process of converting information or data into a code to prevent unauthorized access. Firewalls, on the other hand, serve as a barrier or shield to keep destructive forces away from your network. They control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on an organization's previously established security policies. And finally, intrusion detection systems. These are devices or software applications that monitor a network or systems for malicious activity or policy violations. Having a deep understanding of these concepts and how they interrelate is what makes a great ethical hacker. It's not just about knowing how to break into systems, it's about understanding how to protect them, and that starts with a strong foundation in cybersecurity fundamentals. Having a solid grasp of these concepts is crucial in becoming an ethical hacker. Theory is important, but nothing beats hands-on practice. Indeed, when it comes to ethical hacking or cybersecurity, practical training is paramount. You can read all the books, attend all the lectures, but until you get your hands dirty, so to speak, 
you won't fully grasp the intricacies of the field. Imagine it this way, you can read a book about swimming, understand the movements, the breathing techniques, even the science behind buoyancy. But until you dive into the water and start swimming, you wouldn't truly know how to swim, would you? The same applies to ethical hacking. So how does one get this hands-on experience? The answer lies in cybersecurity labs. These labs provide a safe and legal environment to practice your skills. You can experiment, make mistakes, learn from them without the fear of causing real-world damage or facing legal repercussions. From understanding how malware operates to learning about network vulnerabilities and how to exploit them ethically, these labs offer a plethora of learning opportunities. Another excellent way to get some practical experience is by participating in ethical hacking competitions, commonly known as Capture the Flag or CTF competitions. These competitions typically involve a series of challenges that require participants to use their hacking skills to solve. It's a bit like a treasure hunt, but instead of maps and shovels, you're using code and cybersecurity tools. CTF competitions can be incredibly fun and rewarding, and they provide a fantastic platform for honing your skills. These hands-on experiences not only help you understand the theoretical concepts better, but also give you a taste of what it's like in the real world. They help you develop problem-solving skills, learn to think like a hacker, and understand how to protect systems from them. In conclusion, it's essential to remember that, like any other skill, ethical hacking requires practice. The more you practice, the more adept you become. It's a journey, an ongoing process of learning, practicing, and improving. So dive into those cybersecurity labs, take part in those CTF competitions, and keep practicing. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more adept you become. Once you've gained enough experience, it's time to earn your stripes. You've learned the basics, you've mastered the fundamentals, and you've got your hands dirty with practical training. Now, you're ready to take the next big step on your journey to become an ethical hacker. And that step is earning certifications. Now you might ask, why are certifications important? Well, the world of cybersecurity is vast and complex. It's a place where knowledge is key and proof of that knowledge is even more crucial. That's where certifications come in. They're like badges of honor, proving that you have the skills and knowledge to navigate the treacherous waters of cybersecurity. There are a multitude of certifications available, but let's focus on three main ones. CH, OSCP and CICIP. The Certified Ethical Hacker or CH is a great starting point. It's a certification that validates your ability to think like a hacker, to find vulnerabilities and to recommend solutions. It's a testament to your understanding of the hacker's mindset. Next up is the Offensive Security Certified Professional or OSCP. This one is not for the faint-hearted. It's a rigorous and challenging certification that requires you to demonstrate your ability to perform actual hands-on penetration testing. It's a grueling 24-hour exam that's as close to real-world hacking as you can get. And finally, there's the Certified Information Systems Security Professional, or CSSP. This is a globally recognized certification that demonstrates your expertise in designing, implementing and managing a best-in-class cybersecurity program. It's a testament to your strategic thinking and leadership skills. These certifications are not just pieces of paper. They are a validation of your skills, a testament to your knowledge, and a powerful tool for boosting your credibility in the field. They can open doors to more opportunities and help you stand out in a crowd of cybersecurity professionals. So if you're serious about ethical hacking, these certifications are a must. Certifications not only validate your skills, but also open doors to more opportunities. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to becoming an ethical hacker. We began with the basics shedding light on the vital role of understanding computer systems, networks, and programming. This foundation sets the stage for your journey, ensuring you're well-equipped to navigate the complex landscape of cybersecurity. Next, we dove into the fundamentals of cybersecurity, exploring the intricacies of encryption, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and more. This knowledge is your shield and sword in the digital world, empowering you to protect and defend. Then we moved on to the hands-on training and practice, the stage where theory meets application. By immersing yourself in real-world scenarios and challenges, you gain invaluable experience and insights that textbooks can't provide. And finally, we discussed the importance of earning certifications, the badges of honor in the cybersecurity realm. 
These accreditations not only validate your skills, but also open doors to exciting opportunities. But remember, this roadmap is not a one-time journey. It's a continuous process of learning and adapting. The field of cybersecurity is ever-evolving, with new threats emerging and old ones evolving. It's a dynamic landscape that requires a dynamic approach. So keep your curiosity alive, your knowledge fresh, and your skills sharp. Embrace the challenges, and remember every hurdle you cross is a step closer to becoming an ethical hacker. Thank you for joining me on Krish Hacks, and remember the journey to becoming an ethical hacker is a marathon, not a sprint. Keep learning and keep practicing.